Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Uh, in this project, I'm using the Arduino as a basic ohmmeter. And the way I'm making this measurement is I'm measuring using an analog read the voltage drop across a known resistor. In this case, this is a 10K resistor. And once we know the voltage drop across this resistor, we can then determine the current through this resistor. And the unknown resistor will be in series with it, so it will have the same current through it. And since we'll know the voltage drop across it, we can then calculate using Ohm's law the value of this resistor. Now right now I have a 1K resistor. You can see there. And I have three pieces of information being sent to a processing sketch. I have the voltage at the junction of the known and the unknown resistor, uh, the current through these resistors, and then of course the value of the unknown resistor being displayed in the processing sketch. So you can see here I'm displaying three values of interest with the use of a processing sketch. I have the voltage across the unknown resistor, I have the current through the unknown resistor, and this is in microamps, so this is 10 to the minus 6 amps, and here I have the calculated resistance value based on these two values. So we start with two resistors. We have the known, in my case the 10K, and an unknown resistor to ground. So this is going to be the unknown. Say we didn't have any color codes to read and we wanted to figure out the value of that resistor. And here we have a 10K. And we, in my case I'm just using this as a constant 5 volts in the sketch for the programming. I'm not actually measuring the 5 volts. But I have one analog read here at, at the junction of the known and the unknown resistor. And that's going to A0. So we're going to measure the voltage here. So we can call this V supply or V1, and we can call this V2. So to determine this current, all we have to know is the voltage drop across this 10K resistor. So it'll be 5 volts minus this V2 divided by the 10K. And that'll give us I. And because this is a series circuit, this current will also flow through the unknown. And once we know this current and the voltage drop across this resistor will be V2, R will equal to V2 divided by I. So we can see the current values here. We have 0.43 volts at the intersection of the known and the unknown resistor and we have 456.54 microamps. So if we calculate the voltage divided by that current it should come out to that 951.87 ohms. So if we calculate that we have 0.43 volts divided by 4 five six point five four times ten to the six minus equal to nine forty one point eight six so it's not the most accurate ohm meter before I go over the sketch I thought I'd take a closer look at the relationship resistance has to the voltage across it and the current through it. I've got three resistors here. I have a 100 ohm resistor, a 1K resistor, and a 10K resistor. And I thought I'd graph out some values of voltage and current through each of these values. And we'll take a look and see what, see what they look like on a graph. So here I have two meters. The meter on the left is measuring the current through the resistor. And the meter on the right is measuring the voltage across the resistor. And I'll take a couple of measurements for each of these resistor values. So we're starting off with a 100 ohm resistor. And I'll apply one volt across the resistor and I have roughly 10 milliamps. So let's graph out these voltage and current values for each one of these resistors and see what they look like. 
So for the 100 ohm resistor, we have uh, for one volt we had 10 milliamps, and for two volts we had 20 milliamps, which is about here, and for three volts we had 30 milliamps. And as they say, all you need is two points to draw a line. Here we have three, so it roughly goes like that. And now for a 1K resistor, uh, at 1 volt we have 1 milliamp, so we can divide this into 10 pieces here. So for the 1K resistor at 1 volt we had 1 milliamp, at 2 volts we had 2 milliamps, and 3 volts we had 3 milliamps, and we try to draw a straight line through those looks something like that and for the 10k it's a little bit hard because like the, the scale that I drew here but uh, you get the idea that it's going to be more flat than the 1k so it could look like something like that so this is the 100 ohm resistor this was the 1k resistor and this was the 10k resistor uh, notice these are all by a factor of 10, 100, 1K, and 10K. And as the resistance increases, this line becomes more horizontal. And if you think about it, as we have a larger resistor and we approach like a uh, resistor that's infinity, no matter how much voltage we put across that resistor, very little current or zero current will flow. Whereas if the resistor value decreases as we approach in this direction, we approach uh, a resistance of zero ohms, right? I get this to draw. Very little voltage across zero ohms or approximately zero ohms you'll have an infinite amount of current. There's no limiting the current. And a resistor, by definition, resists the flow of current. So with zero ohms, with just a very little bit amount of voltage, you get infinite current. And in the opposite direction, with an infinite amount of resistance, you have very little current flow no matter how large the voltage. So you can see here that resistance is a constant uh, and it's linear. So it maintains the same proportion of uh, voltage across the device to the current that's through it. And when you graph it out, it's reflected in the slope of the line showing the relationship between the voltage and the current. And as you approach zero, you have uh, a vertical line. And as you approach infinite resistance, you have a horizontal line. So let's take a look at the sketch now that calculates the voltage, current, and the resistance values. So we start off by declaring a variable, a constant variable of type float, because I want decimal places, uh, connected to A0. So A0 is where we're going to do the analog read. We set up our serial uh, port communication with serial.begin9600. And then we have the loop that's going to make our uh, voltage drop measurement. And the ohms, using Ohm's law, make our current uh, calculation. So we have float, I'm calling V1, is equal to analog read of volt pin. So we're reading the voltage at A0, and that's being uh, assigned to the variable V1. Now we have to convert the analog to digital reading to voltage again. Remember, uh, the analog onboard analog to digital converter is converting the voltage that it's reading at A0 uh, to a digital value from 0 to 1023 or 1024. So I have the float v2. I'm defining a variable v2 
and it is equal to V1 divided by 1024 and then multiplied by 5. And that's converting the digital uh, equivalent of the measured voltage at A0 back to uh, a voltage that we can display. And here we determine the current through the known resistor. So we have the 5 volts from the 5 volt regulator minus the voltage that we're measuring at A0, and that's at the junction of the known and unknown resistor. And we divide that by the known 10K resistor, and that gives us the current through that resistor. And that'll be the same current that's flowing through the unknown resistor. So we know the voltage drop across the unknown is the voltage that we're measuring. So we take V2 and we divide it by the current and that gives us that resistor value. And also I wanted to uh, display the current so uh, in order to get more decimal places I multiplied by 1 million or 10 to the 6th. That gives us the uh, microamp measurement that's, that I'm displaying. And then we just do serial print. We have serial dot print V2. That's the volts. Serial print I2 in microamps. And serial dot print R ohms. And we have a little bit of a delay. 500 milliamps. Now you don't have to use the processing sketch. If you go into the sketch that you load onto the Arduino and on the last serial print put serial print LN and load that, you can then use a serial monitor to uh, read the values. So you can see here if I open up the serial monitor You can see the values there. Now when you remove that new line command from the serial.print and open up the serial monitor program, you see what's being sent to the processing sketch. It's a string of data and then when you send that to the processing sketch you have to identify the beginning and end of this string and then the individual pieces of data that you want to grab and uh, display. So this is the processing sketch. I really don't want to go through it because I don't know that much about the processing language. Uh, I was able to work my way through it with a little difficulty uh, in order to finally get the data displayed that I wanted to display. Um, I have a rough idea what's going on and I'm sure the way I went about displaying the data wasn't the, uh, the best way to do it or the easiest way. But that's the extent of the code in order to get that nice pretty display on the screen. I could go over that in another video if you want. Uh, I ordered a book on the processing language and hopefully I'll uh, learn a little bit about that too along the way. But uh, yeah, this is a nice simple project that you can build using um, analog read in Ohm's Law to use the Arduino as, a, as an ohm meter. And as a final side note, there is a unique situation that occurs when you have two resistors of equal value in a voltage divider like this, a series voltage divider. Uh, the voltage at the junction of the two resistors will be half of the total voltage. And it doesn't matter uh, what value, whether these are two 1K or two 10K resistors, uh, with the 5 volts here, this voltage will be 2.5 volts and I can show you how that works out uh, mathematically using Ohm's law. So when you have a situation where you have a voltage divider with two resistors of equal value 
and you want to know this voltage here. This voltage will always be half of the total voltage or the supply voltage Vs. So if we have an R1 and an R2 here and they are both the same, it doesn't matter what their value is as long as they're both the same, the voltage here will be half of the supply voltage. And I can show that because if we want to measure, if we want to calculate the current through these two resistors, I would equal to the supply voltage Vs divided by R1 plus R2. Well, if they are equal, I will equal the supply voltage divided by 2R because they're both the same. doesn't matter what the value is. And if we want to calculate this voltage across R2, that voltage V will equal to the current I, which is this, times the value R2, which is equal to R because it's, it's the same value. So that would equal to I, which is Vs over 2R, times R. And these would just cancel, and V would equal half of Vs. So whatever the total voltage is gets divided by 2. It doesn't matter if R1 and R2 are 1Ks or 10Ks or 100Ks. Whatever the total voltage is, the voltage at this junction will be half. So if this was 10 volts, this would be 5. If it was 5 volts, it would be 2.5. So in my particular case, I'm using a known 10K resistor uh, with my Arduino ohmmeter. So if I have another 10K here, and I insert that, I should get, I should be measuring 2.5 volts at the junction of these two 10K resistors. Because it's half of the 5 volt regulator voltage on the Arduino. So you can see it is measuring 2.5 volts with a 10K resistor in place. So this is how you can use an Arduino as a basic ohmmeter. I hope you found this video interesting. Feel free to subscribe, like, and or comment, and thanks for watching.